What's going on everybody, it's uh, James again. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to use the mod I recently released, which is called the Exploration Mod. So what is this mod? So the Exploration Mod was a uh, small project that I had taken on to be able to go into any part of Shenmue 1 on disc 3 and be able to explore it. Uh, why disc 3 you ask? Because disc 3 is the most complete on terms of what maps are available and where. Disc 1 doesn't even have the harbor, although you can kind of force it to have the harbor, but that's going into another lecture sometime else. Disc 2 doesn't have the Nozomi bike scene, so it's uh, <clears throat> technically is a little different, so disc 3 is the most complete. So I chose disc 3 to make the mod on. How is it done, you ask? Uh, so it's pretty much done by hacking all the map files uh, and taking out the collision data. This uh, mod was actually pretty cool when I <laughs> when it actually started to work. It took me a couple of tries to get it right. So before I start, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Uh, for one, this mod is credited to a couple people actually. The mod itself was made by me. Uh, I did all the hacking and I compiled the ISO and released it. However, the methods come from other people. So the collision data hack was, from what I understand, originally found out by Jujorio, who recently discovered it within the last year. Uh, I'm sure possibly somewhere, you know, a long time ago, somebody might have discovered it because honestly it's not too complex of a hack. The beta maps, because the beta maps are actually playable in this release, I made sure of that. The beta maps were hacked by Wood. Uh, what's going on, Wood? So, big credit to Wood. Uh, big credit to Sizius for making uh, some of the tools that I used to make this possible. Also for the self-boot tools. Big credit to... Uh, who am I missing? Let's see, I got Wood, I got Sizius, I got Jujorio. Oh yes, how could I forget? Big, big credit to Shendream. So this mod is actually running on Shendream's beta release. The reason why I use the beta release is because it allows us to use the debug menu to load into different maps. So what are you going to need to actually get this to work? You're going to need three prerequisites. First prerequisite is, you're going to need to either run it on a Dreamcast or an emulator. I'm currently running on an emulator just so I can show you guys. But you can burn it and play it on a Dreamcast. It'll work as long as your Dreamcast can load Mill CD data, which is any Dreamcast before October 2010, I believe. And then, second prerequisite is, you'll have to have a controller in player slot 1 and player slot uh, 4. Slot 1 is to control the game, slot 4 is to use the in-game debug menu. Last prerequisite is do not have any VMUs connected to the controllers at all while using this mod. Nothing will happen when you're at VMU, but the debug menu does not work when you have a VMU connected. So without further ado, let's start the game. Let me make sure I got my controllers connected. So we have port A is connected and there is no VMU. Port D is now connected. So let's go ahead and boot the game. Of course, I had to have my little custom boot screen. Oh yeah. Thanks to uh, I.O. Ducey for teaching me how to inject MR images into the IP bin file. Yeah. Alright. So this right here is the debug menu to load the maps. So let's just go through this real quick. Continue refers to whether or not you're using a continue save file. Continue is always going to be off. Scene refers to which disk you're using. Uh, more specifically, it's actually referring to which scene folder you're loading maps from. Which, uh, between the disks, it actually corresponds to which disk you're using. So, on disk 1, you'll see that scene is 01. On disk 2, you'll see scene is 02. And on disk 3, you'll see scene is 03. This is an exception to what Shenmue, which is actually scene 80. So we're going to use Ceno 3 because we're using disk, disk 3. Uh, and the area I'm going to be showing you is Dobuita. 
because that is a very good area to do a video on. Now, the area itself refers to the folder of the map file you're using. So, to give a quick background on that, <laughs> bike mod. I'm not showing you that yet. So, to quick, give a quick insight, if we actually look at the disk's contents, don't worry about that. If we actually look at the disk's content, the scene folder, so it's scene 03. And these are all the maps. So Dobuita is going to be D000. Don't worry about that error. Uh, it's happening from a program I recently installed. All right, so D00. Entry point is literally where in the map you're going to enter. So specifically referring to entry points as where you load in the map. So when you're leaving Sakuragaoka to go to Dobuita, there's two ways you can do that, and that's entry point. Uh, zero and entry point two, I believe, and then entry point one is another one. No, I'm sorry. Zero zero might be when you're getting off the bus, and then one and two are the Dobuita exits. So let's do oh one. So we're gonna load into the do Dobuita. And don't mind if my computer's a little slow. I'm sorry about that. I can't really handle playing Shenmue and using the recording software at the same time. But it looks like the normal game, except now we can run through walls. Yay. This will allow you to explore things that you probably haven't seen before. But I'll leave that up to you guys to find out. There are a couple of things that are pretty cool to look at. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the in-game debug menu. So what you need to do now is, with that controller that's plugged into player 4, Press the start button. That's going to bring up that debug menu right there. Now, you can still control Rio and stuff. Which is pretty cool. So, what I'm going to be showing you now is uh, what the debug menu can do. So, for instance, let's turn around here. Now, if we go to, uh, say, Lapis Fortune Teller. See how she's closed and she only opens at 10? Well, that's a problem. However, we can change that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to time. And you see how it says time on the debug menu now? That's by hitting, uh, I believe it's left on the deep on the controller, the fourth part controller. I'm using my keyboard and I have my key set up a special way to actually control the debug menu with just like keys that make sense. So what I'm going to do is, we can use this option to actually change the time of the game. So by holding right D-pad on the 4th player controller, we can have time on the forward. So let me just control that a little bit. Sorry, my uh, keyboard is getting a little weird. So, one. Alright. Let me just turn around so you can get a good look at the sign here. So I'm going to move time the future like this. Now you see my clock? It's going a little crazy. Now I can move time forward and back at my own will. And you actually see like the sky and stuff change, which is pretty cool. So now she's open. Now she's closed. Now she's open. Now she's closed. Now she's open. Isn't that awesome? Alright, so another thing we can do is uh, I gave you guys the ability to explore other maps as well. So let's find a store that's open. Now, the lag you're seeing is not has nothing to do with the mod itself. It just has to do with the fact that my laptop can't handle it. So let's go into this place. So we're now into antique shop. You'll see the camera stand behind the door. That's just because the camera can't see the wall, so it doesn't know to zoom up on real. 
But yeah, we can walk through the antique shop like it's nothing. Look at all this stuff back here. It's kind of hard to see all this, but if you actually look, there's a good amount of detail on it. See? Look at that. That's so cool. You'll find a lot of crazy stuff when you explore Shenmue. And you can also go outside, too, and see the unloaded area. See? Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the debug menu itself, if we go back into it, you get a couple of options. Uh, this save actually makes a save file where you're at. Which is pretty cool. Uh, status is just the status of your debug talk. I'm not exactly what, sure what that does yet. I haven't figured it out. Uh, flags are pretty much yes and no options. There's like maybe, I think like 2,000 something flags. And when you turn them on, it just says, yeah, you did this. So like flag one would be like, yeah, you spoke to the kitten. Flag two would be like, yeah, you kicked a soccer ball in someone's face. So it just, it tells the game where you're at in the game. And then for free conversation debug, honestly, I'm not sure specifically what that option does yet. So yeah guys, that's really it. Uh, the exploration mod lets you do this in pretty much every area in the game, including the harbor. Uh, I also included the ability to go into beta areas and uh, walk down Wish Road, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. There's my quick tutorial. I hope you guys find it useful. If you want a link to the mod itself, please send me a message on Shenmue Dojo. I am Shenguro86 on Shenmue Dojo. I can send you the link there. And, uh, alright guys, as always, have a nice day.